Hi, would you like to learn some useful phrasal verbs connected to shopping? Welcome to Jen's Jugyo. My name is Jen and today you're going to learn 15 different phrasal verbs all connected to grocery shopping. Keep watching till the very end of the video for a bonus three phrasal verbs. Before we begin, let's review what a phrasal verb is. A phrasal verb is when you take a verb, an action word, and you put it together with a preposition. Prepositions are words such as in, on, at, from, to, up, and so on. When you put the verb and the preposition together, it will create a new, unique meaning in English. And often the meaning of a phrasal verb is different from the original meaning of the verb itself. For example, if we take a look at our first phrasal verb for today, it is pop into. Pop into. Pop is the verb and into is the preposition. This phrasal verb pop into means to visit a place for a short amount of time. When I need to pick up some groceries, I don't want to spend a long time in the store. So I think I will just pop in, get everything on my list and leave as quickly as I can. Our second phrasal verb for today is pick up. To pick up something means to go somewhere, get something and bring it home with you. So when you go to the grocery store, you're going there to pick up groceries. You're buying the groceries and then you are bringing them home with you. I might just pop into the grocery store to pick up some milk or eggs. Our third phrasal verb for today is shop around. To shop around means to compare the price of something at a several different stores in order to find out which place has the cheapest price. So when I go grocery shopping, I like to use these flyers to help me shop around. I can compare the price of chicken in this one. Oh wow, chicken over here is not that expensive. Then I can look in the next flyer and see Oh wow, chicken at this store is even cheaper. I am shopping around. I am comparing the prices of the same item at different places. Similar to shop around is phrasal verb number four. Phrasal verb number four is to look out for. If you look out for something, it means that you are carefully searching to try and find it. You are regularly checking to see if something is there or not. When I'm grocery shopping, I'm looking out for sales, looking out for a good deal. Phrasal verb number five is to cut down on something. To cut down on something means to reduce the amount of that item. We can use this with money. To cut down on your spending means to reduce the amount of money that you spend. The reason why I like to shop around and look out for deals is because I'm trying to cut down on my spending so that I can save money. We can also use the phrasal verb cut down, meaning to reduce a certain item. I should cut down on the amount of snacks I eat so I should eat before I go grocery shopping so I don't buy as many snacks and I can cut down on the amount of snacks I buy. Phrasal verb number six is try out. If you try something out, it means that you are testing it to see if it is good or not. Sometimes in a grocery store, there will be somebody giving you free samples of a certain food or beverage. They want you to enjoy the sample and see if you like it or not so that you will buy their product. They want you to try out their product through the samples. Phrasal verb number seven is run out, to run out of something. If you run out of something in your house, it means that you have completely used it up. It is all finished and now you need to buy more. This bottle of soy sauce is empty. We have run out of soy sauce. We have to go to the store to pick up some more. When we talk about a store running out of a certain product, we can use another phrasal verb. This phrasal verb is sell 
out. A couple months ago, grocery stores were selling out of toilet paper. Every store you went to had barely any toilet paper or no toilet paper left at all. They were selling out of toilet paper. Phrasal verb number nine is to stock up on something. If you stock up on something, it means that you are buying a large amount of it to use in the future. One of the reasons why many stores ran out and were sold out of toilet paper is because other people were stocking up on toilet paper. They were buying large amounts of toilet paper to use in the future and weren't leaving enough for other people. When I go grocery shopping, I mentioned I have a bad habit of buying snacks. And if you've seen my phrasal verbs for daily routine video, you can see how I stocked up on a lot of snacks. I'll put a link to that video here if you haven't watched the video about phrasal verbs for daily routines yet. Phrasal verb number 10 is pick out. To pick out something means to choose something, to select it. As I mentioned, I'm trying to cut down on the amount of snacks I eat. So when I'm at the grocery store looking at all the snacks, I've decided I will pick out only one. Pick out, I will choose only one. Phrasal verb number 11 is go with. Go with can be used in two different ways. The first way we can use go with is to say that that is the item we have decided on. If I'm trying to pick out a certain snack, ah, should I choose this one or this one? Ah, I will go with this one, meaning I will decide on this one. The other way that we can use go with is for something to match or complement or harmonize with something else. Maybe I'm shopping and I see some delicious cheese and I think, oh, I should buy this cheese. It will go well with the wine we have at home. Phrasal verb number 12 is take back. If you take something back, it means that you return it. One time I bought some fruit on a tray that was already cut up for a party and I brought it back to my apartment and suddenly noticed that some of the things on the tray had mold on them already, but I just bought it. So I took it back to the grocery store. So it means I returned it to the grocery store. Take something back is to return it. Phrasal verb number 13 is line up. When you're in a grocery store that's really busy, you often have to line up before you can purchase your items. You need to stand in a line, or as British people might say, form a queue before you can pay for your items. So there's usually a line to get to the checkout, to the cashier. So you need to line up so you can pay for your items. Phrasal verb number 14 is ring up. When you're shopping in the grocery store, the cashier will ring up your purchases. Ring up means to calculate the total amount of money that you owe by entering certain numbers into the cash register or by scanning the items as they go through. So by scanning things or entering numbers, they are ringing up your total for your bill at the grocery store. Phrasal verb number 15 is rack up. To rack up something means to get a large number of something. So if you spend too much money at the grocery store, you are maybe racking up a huge bill, meaning the amount of money is higher than you expected. Or on a positive note, when I go grocery shopping, I have many different points cards for different grocery stores. And at the grocery store, when I pay for my item, they usually ask me, do you have a points card? Do you have your air miles card? Do you have an optimum card? And they will swipe the card and you will get some points. So I like to rack up the points and then I can get free groceries with those points. So today you learned 15 phrasal verbs all connected to grocery shopping. And now it's time for question of the day. For today's question, I want you to practice what you've learned in this lesson. 
In the comments below, please tell me about your grocery shopping routines or your grocery shopping habits. Try and use expressions from this lesson in your answer in the comments below. Before you go, I have three bonus phrasal verbs for you which are connected to grocery shopping, but grocery shopping in a time of COVID-19. The first bonus phrasal verb is put on. Put on means to wear an item of clothing. When you go grocery shopping, you need to put on a face mask. If you don't put on a face mask, they will not let you into the grocery store. Bonus phrasal verb number two is eat out. To eat out means to eat in a restaurant, to dine in at that restaurant and enjoy eating there. Due to COVID-19, restaurants are closed and we cannot eat out anymore at this time. As a result, at first I thought, huh, I can't eat out, so I will probably need to go grocery shopping more often. However, that hasn't necessarily been the case because of phrasal verb number three, our bonus third phrasal verb, which is to order in. Rather than eating out and rather than going grocery shopping, I have been using Uber Eats, Skip the Dishes and so on a lot to order in. Order in means to contact a restaurant or an app service and get the food that you have picked out delivered to your house. So if you want food delivered to your house, you are ordering in. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. If you found it useful, please subscribe to Jen's Jugio and give this video a thumbs up. Good luck with your English studies and I'll see you in the next lesson.